Mom and Pop Quilt Shop Studio. Thank you for joining me today. We're working on a beautiful wedding gift that we are doing for one of Pop's co-workers, and it is done. I was going to do finish up the borders on this coming weekend, but timeline is ticking. I got things to do, so <laughs> I finished it up, and it's a longer on Wednesday show. We wanted it to be one anyway, so just to look a little longer on the weekend. So this is the thread that I have chosen. It's called Strawberry Blonde, and I bought a new stitch out for this one. It is called Hearts... I think it's called Blood Hearts Edge to Edge. I think that's what it says. And this was using a Northcott panel, um, a very color shift panel, and it was actually a free pattern from Northcott. And uh, it was really fun to do. There only was two uh, mistakes on it. There were the, the squares that you needed for this one right here is 38, not 28. And then you, um, so that means you needed to cut extra of those strips with this fabric. So cut extra like two strips or three strips or something. So yeah, I don't know what happens. Okay, so let's start quilting. It is on the last row of this project. I'm gonna let it stitch up. Let Walt finish doing his stuff. Okay. It's a cute little one. I love how the strawberry blonde thread shows up on the black, as well as it's a nice blend color for all those other beautiful colors that are popping out throughout the quilt. So the blocks are laid out kind of similar to a buffalo plaid pattern where you have three colors and they inter interplay with each other and almost kind of looks like a weave as well and because the color it actually puts off another beautiful pop right so we did add this color here into the border we actually added two borders we added a oops got a thread break uh -oh. un momento okay. and we did add two borders extra there's two little ones right here so we did bulk it out by about you know eight inches not on all sides, just I don't know, deep, deep concentration, trying to get back in. Okay, so let's bring the bobbin up because we don't want that being an interrupt. Okay, here, let's go auto start. It's gonna think, nope, we stopped back over here and we wanna overlap our stitches by just a little bit, not too much. Okay, bring the bobbin up. Oh, I found my snips. Yay! Okay. And let it continue to do its thing. Perfect. Okay. It happens. Just want to make sure you're overlapping a little bit. Okay. It's going to be that kind of a pain, just because we're filming now, isn't it? I really like how they popped up. It was thanks to chat. I appreciate it. Uh, we all kind of put this quilt together. So these two borders were the ones that we added. It was just supposed to be this big eight inch thick one. One second. The Y belt wants to be a pain. I think it adds a really nice uh, pop to the whole quilt actually, so I'm glad we did it. I thought about maybe I should have done the black one a little bit smaller, but you know. That's okay. It looks really good. And it took about a yard of fabric uh, to do this border part as well as the squares for the inside. And then you have a little bit left over as well. I just really love this heart stitch out with the two hearts together, interlooped forget together forever. And then the strawberry blonde thread kind of looks sometimes a little bit golden. Looks a little bit yellow, but it's strawberry blonde. And the way it looks on the backing is really quite pretty. It's not too over, it's not too under. Just a little under. <laughs> Underwhelming, I don't know. 
I hope you're having a good week so far. It's been okay weather-wise here. Very much looking forward to spring. It can't happen soon enough. Yeah, it's such a fun fabric. So what I did was I was piecing this border piece because it has like pinks and yellows in it. I kept the pinks together as I was matching up the sides and the top. So as you see, as we come down to the other side here, the other end, it's actually yellow in the corner, like it's yellow bordering up. So I kept it to try to be consistent so it was nice flow throughout the quilt. A nice color variation from side to side. And what a great way to deal with a panel. A, a nice full of color, full of pattern. You know, why not? Chop it up. You could do the same idea if you had one that was already pre-stamped with the squares. That square is what determines what your quilt size other blocks are gonna be. And that's all you have to do is just lay it out that way. It could be a nice big quilt. It could be a, a quick, fast one with, you know, several large blocks. Now we do have another uh, a wedding gift to do hope, before we end up driving back to Ontario. Um, so we'll work on that on this Saturday. Okay. I was gonna kind of try and go for a, like a two-tone, but I actually might take one of our bare panels and work that up in a different manner than we did before. So, because it makes a nice, quilt and I think it's bears are universally loved. <laughs> All started with Winnie the Pooh. Love that yellow. That's so pretty. And then we got into the blues and the purples and the oranges and the yellows. Lovely. It was really a lot of fun. And you know, and in a weekend, you could put a quilt together, right? And you didn't have to, you know, obviously if you don't have a long arm, you could just do some lovely straight line quilting or a little bit of a curve. Even your space is out every, you know, two, three inches, even every four inches if you wanted. You could have tied some yarn or some embroidery floss or stitch uh, floss in any of the, the squares or all the squares. Could done a, a like a loose big stitch all the way across, do a little pattern, whatever, whatever. And Marcus picked out the uh, lovely back black fabric to go on this project. I said either a gray, a black, or a white. So and he picked this black. So, and I'm like, I love it, it looks beautiful. And it does really make the other colors really pop because of the black in the background of this pattern, and the border pattern. So pretty. It's nice to give a quilt as a wedding gift, you know, babies and weddings. Usually, usually why we do quilts. And it's a good size too. It's about 59 by 78. 
So 59 wide by 78 long, and that's fantastic for a nice cuddle quilt for the couch. So, or even that extra one for the bed, right? I know I run cold, so I usually like my extra little quilts or blankets all on top and near me, so. Well, I've loved making it, so I've already put in extra love. <laughs> Hopefully you can join us on Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern for our next live. We also have a Tuesday um, live. It's Cross Stitch Tuesday. We just, uh, you know, sip tea and chat and get to know each other and talk about projects and usually working on something cross stitchy. I'm going to whip up a couple other little uh, things to take with me. Uh, there's apparently some birthdays while we are there. So we're, I'm going to, I don't want to come empty handed. So you'll see that probably on the uh, weekend projects. That's our Friday video. Yeah, see how I told you it was transition of the, like the yellows coming together on the other corner it was the pink. So it blended it, it looks really pretty. And I just got to find my labels. <laughs> Let's take a label on it. I've had a few uh, heirloom quilts come through the quilt shop to get repaired and labels are really important. You don't really think of it when you're doing the project and that's like the last thing you really want to do is go and make a label for it. But sometimes you are, sometimes you're super proud to have that label on there. Sometimes it's not even a thought, right? Like that's me, I, I didn't really think about putting labels on things. I was one of those, but I try really hard, pass a little bit, make sure I'm putting labels on all my projects. Beautiful. Perfect. All right, let's take a look at this beauty. Okay, let's unclamp here. And unclamp here. And I'll just let the bottom canvas drop. Okay. So I can pull it out because it's not that super duper wide. But just so you can see how pretty it is. Oh, got hooked on the, one of the pins. Okay, here we go. Isn't that beautiful? It turned out amazing and so pretty. I absolutely, absolutely love it. Uh, thank you for watching and subscribing. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, please do so. That would be greatly appreciated and it's free and you can hang out with us and cause some trouble and have some fun. <laughs> Hope you have an amazing day and we'll see you soon. Take care, everybody.